Alright, so this is the, uh, this is the, uh, I don't know which one's A and B or left and right, but uh, as you can see, this is the one that has two uh, sprouted, fully formed branches coming off of it. And it's got, the, okay, there we go. It's got the uh, set of three on top. It's got another set of three just coming up right here. So let's turn this one in now. Okay, there we go. Let's turn this one. This one here, what's interesting is not just these flowers, which are uh, unusual to say the least, but they're very pretty. But it's also developing way down in there a set of three. And it's got these, uh, these flowers are coming off from where uh, there's a, a small branch for me. There's two of them, actually. Uh, but this one doesn't have the uh, flowers just yet. This one does. So I can't really get in at the junction, but you can see where those flowers and those leaves are all coming out of the same place. Now this one has some yellowed leaves. And one of them broke off, so I figured I'd just show you uh, what you can do here. So if you touch them lightly like that, and they don't come off, you don't have to take them off. So these are pretty stringy. But uh, this one's... This one, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, the term mature. These ones I'm going to call mature plants. So they're branching differently than they used to. Here's another... Uh, off color leaf. Oh, see that one fell right off when I touched it, so there's no need to be trimming it. But it sort of tells me that that's uh, probably what's up with these other ones here, that they're going to fall off shortly. I'm just going to show you how you can deal with that if you, if you uh, feel the need or just want to. And if you cut them right there, See if I can get it to side. And I usually throw those on another plant. So you can leave those, like they're, they're still springy. And in a second there may even be some latex, but uh, there might not be. And that's kind of the thing, if there's no latex coming out of those stems after you've cut them, then those leaves are basically ready to fall off. So if you just leave those within a day or so, they'll dry up and fall off. These leaves would have, but since I've done this manually, now they're all right here, and I can put them, I usually put them all over the other plants. That's all I got for you.